So today we are going to talk about a very annoying PvP build for Blood Knight. And let's jump straight into it. And we are going to start with the skills. For the skills, first we have Whirling Strike. We are using this as a movement skill plus CC. We are going to talk, in, talk about essences and other stuff after we talk about skills. Next we have Spear Flurry. This is the annoying essence. This essence keeps people airborne all the time until it runs out. After that we have Transfusion. This keeps us safe from damage over time effects. When you activate it, it delays uh, the damage over time effects and you can activate it twice. Other than that we have Skewer. I am using the Bissolver with this, I didn't really like the new essence. So lastly we have Skewer for the main end. I mean for the primary attack we have Shadow's Edge. And when it comes to set items, I am using 4-piece Gloomskite and 4-piece Mountebank. I think that's the best option, otherwise you might die too fast and it won't work. Try to have a lot of uncastrial properties on yourself because the stun you are getting from this is very important. It creates opportunities to use the... Um, what was the name of the skill? Okay. Because it creates opportunities to use Spear Flurry and keep them CC'd. So that's Ancestral Properties. And I'm using Nettled for Curse Properties. I think it is good. That's why I keep it. And for the, and for the Legendary items, let's start with the Headpiece. We have Sirens Green. Whirling Strike maximum charge is increased by 1. This is a regular helm that everyone uses nowadays. For the chest, we have Count of the Eaves. Whirling Strike also, Whirling Strike also grants 5% damage reduction per enemy hit for 4.8 seconds. And this can stack up to 6 times. So when you are in a crowded area, try to use your Whirlwind to get that damage reduction. And try to move to a target that stays a little bit further from that crowded area to use Spear Flurry on them. Well, for the shoulders, we have Farnam's Bird Mantle. Spear Flurry also causes enemies to bleed for 3 seconds, dealing 6.6k damage. These damage numbers can be different for you because it, they are impacted by your resonance, your damage and other stuff. I mean, basically just probably those two. And for the pants, I have Overrun. Spear Flurry now knocks enemies into the air. That's the essence we need. You should use this. I mean, you should use all of these, but this is the one. For the main hunt, we have the Bissolver. Um, it is this skill, you already know it. There is an Eve Skewer essence, but I like this one better. And for the other main hunt, we have Indulgent Calligrapher. This is the Whirling Essence. Whirling Strike now causes to dash forward damaging and knocking back enemies in your pet while also applying a stacking bleed. This can be activated again up to two additional times with the final strike hitting all nearby enemies and knocking them, and knocking them airborne. So we already use this on most of the Blood Knight builds so it stays on this one as well. And since this is not a primary attack build, we don't need Shadow's Edge offense. And we are using um, Skewer, so we have Skewer Offense. First one is Soul Sensor. Skewer now shatters the enemy's armor, increasing their damage taken by 19% for 3 seconds. And the other one is Sprig of Half Tone. This one increases your damage by 19%, yes, for 4 seconds. And, well, that's the basics of the build. You will see the gameplay. In a minute, other than that, I can show you my Reforge bonuses. There is, I think, a couple of options for the Reforge bonuses for this specific build and for Blood Knight in general. If you are not playing with uh, primary attack builds for Blood Knight, you can use this Reforge setup. This is a defensive setup, as you can understand. We have four piece barrier, and one of the, and the other one is duration of beneficial effects increase. I always keep this on all of my classes. I think this is a very important reforge bonus. And I'm I like to be tanky as much as possible because I don't have too high too much resonance and armor. I'm trying to get some help from these things. 
to be tanky. But you can use three piece jolt to CC people. That can be an option. Or if you are playing with primary attacks, you can play with vengeance. That will that would be better, I think. But this is my setup. I don't really want to talk about others. And the gameplay you are gonna watch is gonna be with this setup as well. So these are the reforged bonuses. It's all almost same on all of them. So I think that's all. And obviously, I am using Warden. I have a detailed Paragon guide on the channel. So if you wanna copy the whole setup, you can just watch that video. It will be in the description. I mean, we can talk about jams. I'm not really gonna advise you tons of jams because you shouldn't change your jams depending on each build. I'm sure you already have your jam set up. But like me, you can get a black rose depending on your resources. You can get it up to rank 10 or even lower and use it because this creates opportunities to use spear flurry because it immobilizes people. Same thing applies for curse link. I wish I had rank 10 curse link. It would be really good for this build so i can recommend these two gems for this build you can get them as an extra gem so you can change whenever you need them well i think that's all for the build i hope you enjoy it now you can watch the gameplay now let's do what do we do best Jump, jump, jump. Keep jumping. GG's. Nice, this was a fun game. This was a f basically a free win, but it was fun. Hey Dwayne, I'm glad you are liking it.